Live from NBC Studios in New York City, RCA presents The Year With Our Name On It. Good evening and welcome to NBC Studio 8H. I'm Tom Brokaw, NBC News, and tonight we are going to be part of an historic event in the home entertainment industry, the introduction of RCA's video disc player. RCA certainly has chosen an appropriate place to introduce its new product because Studio 8H here has quite a celebrated past itself. A lot of entertainment history has been made in this room. A lot of radio and television first have occurred here. This is the studio, for example, where Arturo Toscanini conducted the famous NBC Symphony live during the golden days of radio. NBC News national election coverage comes live from here, Studio 8H, and then more recently, this also is the home of Saturday Night Live. So 8H here is a kind of favorite studio at NBC because of the successful shows that have been launched from this studio. And tonight, it's been chosen for yet one more entertainment first. On the program for tonight's historic launch are Mr. Edgar Griffiths, Chairman of the Board and Chief Executive Officer of RCA. Mr. Roy Pollack, Executive Vice President of RCA. Mr. Herb Schlosser, Executive Vice President of RCA. And Mr. Jack Souter, Group Vice President, General Manager of RCA Consumer Electronics. It's a very significant night, especially for your RCA dealers, I'm told, because this evening you will, in fact, be present at the birth of a truly new industry. I see that we're now about to begin, so let's turn our attention to the opening address. Ladies and gentlemen, the chairman of the board and chief executive officer, RCA Corporation, Mr. Edgar Griffiths. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so very much for spending some of your busy time with us this evening. Our introduction tonight of the RCA video disc system is being carried by the RCA satellite to over 75 locations throughout our country. In recent years, it's been very common in the United States to state that innovation is dead and to remark that American companies were unwilling to take a chance or unwilling to make a major investment in the future. We at RCA take strong exception to that type of thinking and I submit to you as evidence this evening the RCA video disc system. It is entirely a product of U.S. technology and skill. It has been in the making for 15 years, and it represents a great technical achievement. We have already seen it adopted by many leading electronic companies throughout the world. As a matter of interest, we have invested more in the video disc than we did in black and white, or we invested in color television. In our judgment, this will be the most dramatic and important consumer product since the introduction of color. I believe that it will stimulate the consumer market. And I pledge to you tonight that you will find RCA ever willing to increase its already sizable investment not only in the product, but in the software and the programming. I also pledge to you that as the years go by, we will introduce further technical advancements and further refinements. And you can also look to RCA to introduce the next and the next major consumer product in this country. It is our intention as we begin to start as the leader we believe that we have the simplest, the best, and the most cost-effective video disc system. And above all, I sincerely believe that we have the best group of distributors and dealers. 
I say to you in parting that I wish you good selling, good profit, good luck, and thank you. Thank you, Mr. Griffiths. Clearly, RCA is deeply committed to this new product, but commitment is only a first step. Next comes the assembly of all the varied disciplines, skills, resources, and technologies that will make a concept a reality, which, of course, begins with the product and its manufacturing. In other words, what does RCA want this new product to be for both you and your customer? Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, Executive Vice President, RCA Corporation, Mr. Roy Pollack. Thank you. Almost five years ago, Mr. Griffith clearly stated the RCA Video Disc Project objective, to develop and merchandise a truly mass market home video playback system and to establish and hold a leadership position. The first part of this objective, product development, has been our challenge for many years. I am extremely proud and pleased, beginning with tonight's unprecedented live nationwide dealer introduction, to welcome all of you to the video disc team as we together move into the next phase, the market introduction of this exciting new product. Achievement of our development objectives has been a tall order. Indeed, the tallest order our research people have faced since color television. I believe you will leave this meeting convinced that we've been successful. To meet our product and market objectives requires, among many things, that the system be simple to operate, reliable, give high performance, and be easy to service. The system must provide long playing time. It must offer an attractive and diverse catalog of programs. And perhaps most importantly, it must be affordable to the typical American consumer. RCA's development program has been focused on these mass market criteria since its inception, and the CED system choice was made within this framework. But the critical challenge has been the conversion over the last two years from a research project to the practical and manufacturable products, both players and discs, that are now moving to your distributor's warehouse. Let me talk a little more about this conversion from research to pro practical product reality, because this is the crucial element in any state-of-the-art new product such as video discs. Until and unless this conversion is completed, and I do not believe it has been completed for the competing, competing video disc systems, you simply do not know whether the system concept will lead to marketplace reality. Our high performance video disc system represents state of the art technology. Think about it for a moment. To store two hours of color TV programming on a disc requires a means of accurately and repetitively recording, duplicating, reading and finally decoding nearly 200 billion, I repeat, nearly 200 billion information elements. Any system that can deal with this incredible volume of information certainly belongs more in the world of Buck Rogers than the world of Nipper with his ear cocked to the phonograph horn. But as I said earlier, the essential issue is not developing a video disc system to demonstrate technological feasibility. That was done by RCA and other companies by the early 1970s. The challenge is the conversion of an exotic, state-of-the-art research prototype into a mass market consumer product. And continuing the tradition of outstanding product from RCA Consumer Electronics, our video disc operations group supported by the total commitment of RCA, has done just that with the CED video disc system. Weighing 20 pounds and using only 35 watts of power, a player has been designed that is attractive, simple to operate, 
and incorporates the product features we believe most customers want and will use. These features include pause, rapid access, and visual program search. But even these features will probably be used infrequently because most customers will simply insert a disc, turn the player on, and sit back to enjoy their favorite program. The disc has been designed for a full two hours, one hour per side, so that most popular feature films can be contained on one disc. And the disc is enclosed in a protective plastic sleeve that ensures a long life of high quality playback without deterioration. But again, this is just prologue. In December 1979, RCA committed to a nationwide video disc introduction in the first quarter of 1981. Volume production of discs began on June 27, 1980 with a Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown, a title which rather accurately describes our pace over the past two years. Player production began in Bloomington, Indiana last October 20th. At this very moment, players and discs are moving to your distributor's warehouse to be delivered to you. The conversion from research to product reality has taken place and I would like to show you that reality. To deliver against our commitment of a true mass market product and to assure long-term video disc leadership for RCA and you, we have brought together the very best people to create a skill center second to none in our David Sonoff Research Center in Princeton and at our Rockville Road facility in Indianapolis. We have integrated the disciplines of electronics, mechanics, and chemistry, and we have built technical competence in many fields new to RCA. Here are some examples. We've had to learn how to cut a video disc master with 10,000 grooves to the inch, containing all the necessary signal information perfectly replicated in the groove walls. We've had to learn how to test that master so that we know it is perfect before we go any further. We have had to learn how to process and control disc materials so that critical impurities are held below 50 parts per billion. We have learned how to press, clean, and lubricate discs in a sophisticated, highly automated, and clean environment to assure that we deliver high quality pictures cost effectively. And most importantly, we have developed quality and reliability test systems to assure that you and your customers receive discs that perform the first time and every time to RCA's standards of excellence. To play the disc, we have had to learn how to precisely shape, assemble, and test a diamond stylus so small you would have to magnify it 10,000 times in a scanning electron microscope to see its actual contour. And this stylus tip which measures just one ten thousandth of an inch and tracks at sixty-five thousandths of a gram had to be designed for years of life under normal use and then be easily consumer replaceable. To assemble and test the RCA video disc player, we have facilitated a dedicated area within RCA's Bloomington, Indiana color television plan. Building on the fine skills of Bloomington, and RCA Consumer Electronics, we are committed to the production of a player that will measure up to the best in consumer electronics from any manufacturer. We have made the investment for the latest in automatic insertion equipment, automatic alignment and test equipment, worker paste assembly facilities, and extensive quality and reliability test facilities. In short, a total commitment to doing it right the first time and every time. In Rockville Road, Princeton, Bloomington, and elsewhere in RCA, we have committed the dollars and the people to turn the best the technology has to offer into the best product value for you and your customers. At this moment, there are over 2,000 people within RCA 100% dedicated to the video disc project. I am extremely proud of their accomplishments in bringing us to this historic moment. I hope you feel the same sense of excitement that we at RCA feel about our product. Tonight, 
as thousands of talented and dedicated RCA distributor and dealer personnel are added to the video disc team, I am confident that one year or five years or ten years hence, we will all be able to look back with pride at the video disc marketing and selling efforts launched at this meeting. Good luck and good selling. Thank you, Mr. Pollock. 10,000 grooves to the inch, materials pure to 50 parts per billion, 200 billion information elements, a stylus that measures one ten thousandths of an inch. The impact of this technology is expected to profoundly affect the way people feel about television and entertainment. Take a look at this. and you're trying to seduce me. <laughs> Aren't you? Get there, Pop. 
वो कहते हैं Ladies and gentlemen, Executive Vice President, RCA Corporation, Mr. Herb Schlosser. Good evening. As Tom Brokaw stated earlier, the presentation to you tonight of RCA's Select Division Video Disc System is historic because it marks the beginning of a new nationwide medium for entertainment and education and it marks the beginning of a new business. In presenting its video disc system, RCA long ago adopted the strategy of emphasizing the video disc players and the video disc programs. We stress the hardware and the software. Both go together hand in glove. And we have assembled a program catalog of excellence, diversity, and popular appeal. Tonight I want to tell you briefly what I see as your opportunity in the software market. The consumer will expect to buy video discs where he buys his player. And therefore, we will effectively put hardware and software together at the retail level. We will open with a catalog of 100 titles. And our video disc pricing structure is ideal for mass consumer appeal. Pricing as low as $14.98 for some titles, and up to $27.98 for others, with most of the catalog priced at under $20. Now, to ensure our success, we will not stop with our opening catalog of 100 titles. We have already entered into agreements with 70 program companies to provide a continuing release of new programs to maintain interest and excitement and growth month after month. We have agreements with Paramount Pictures and United Artists and Walt Disney Productions and MGM and 20th Century Fox and NBC and ABC and many, many others. We will have a growing catalog of entertaining and informative programs that will appeal to a wide range of tastes and interests. And we have program staffs in New York City, Los Angeles and London negotiating every day for new programs because we're looking at this business in the long haul for the long period to go. But important as movies are, we have more, much more. Sports, the best of television, music, children's programs, Shakespeare, ballet, and educational and instructional programs. And before too long, we will have new programs produced especially for select division video discs, and that raises an entire new excitement of new programming. We've promised continuing new releases. We will offer 25 to our distributors in May and 25 in August. Let's take a look. First, NBC's own Saturday Night Live. I made the same mistakes. Maybe I should have used catfish in the fourth game. I'm, I'm sorry you were embarrassed on national television in front of millions of people, and I'm 
Sorry that each one of you lost the uh, bonuses in the uh, World Series money, not to mention the untold other monies you could have gotten in commercial endorsements. I'm sorry. I let you down. It, it's, it won't happen again. You bet it won't, Coach. <laughs> Live from New York, it's Saturday night! Peter Sellers and the Pink Panther. We must find that woman. Paul Simon in concert. Mama pajama rolled out of bed. She ran to the police station. Sean Connery as the intrepid James Bond in Goldfinger. John Travolta in Urban Cowboy. The hit motion picture, Airplane. Hey, Larry, where's the forklift? Forklift! It's over there by the baggage loader. The miracle at Lake Placid, the triumph of the U.S. Olympic hockey team over the Soviet team. The U.S. 4, Finland 2. And then the countdown began. The crowd going insane at the moment. Bedlam in here, stomping. Five seconds to the gold medal. Four to the gold medal. This impossible dream comes true. In the next several months, we will also release three motion pictures out of the five nominated for this year's Oscar. Mary Tyler Moore and Donald Sutherland in Ordinary People, directed by Robert Redford. Raging Bull, starring Robert De Niro, and Elephant Man, starring John Hurt. So within just a few months, we will be at 150 titles, and we will be following that with continuing releases thereafter. Let me sum up. We have the best programs, and an ever-expanding catalog to power the sales of this superb video disc system. The potential of this new system is enormous. To me, the really revolutionary aspect of the video disc is that for the first time, consumers will be able to afford a simple and reliable audiovisual playback system for use in the home, and they will be able to buy a wide variety of programs that will entertain and educate. This is something new and an exciting prospect. Each living room can become a screening room, a classroom, a place where the whole family can gather and be entertained and informed. You and we, with RCA Selective Vision Video Disc, are going to make history. We're going to make magic. We guarantee a year you won't believe when we review what we got up our sleeve. The time is right at hand to do our slide of hand and we're gonna make magic. The competition will be sawed in two when they see what our magic box can do. It's 
Who's gonna do the trick? We'll be the one they pick Cause we're Barnum and Patrick They want a system that a child can play now To grant their wish that great magician RCA now Presents the magic entertainment toy Sit back America, relax, enjoy Just imagine being able to bring into your living room the greatest films and performing artists of our time and when you want them. It does seem like magic, but then it wasn't that long ago that television itself seemed like magic. The point is, the video disc system may soon be as common in the home as TV is now. RCA is working toward that end and to do so, providing some magic of their own. In this case, marketing magic. Ladies and gentlemen, Group Vice President and General Manager, RCA Consumer Electronics, Mr. Jack Sauter. Good evening. Tonight, you have heard RCA's commitment and objectives for the video disc. Now we come to the final element the marketing countdown to the actual launch of RCA's Select Division video disc system. Tonight, we're all gonna be part of a very historical event that will introduce this new medium, and as we do it, I'm sure that you're vitally interested in knowing more about the potential of the disc and what it will mean to you. Let's start by asking a few basic questions like, what is the size of the market and who will be the most likely prospects? Well, research tells us that with a video disc player that is priced under $500 and with video discs that are priced between $20 and $25, approximately 7% of the color homes or about 4 million households would be interested in buying the video disc within the first three years. Now, this remarkable initial growth rate which is substantially stronger than anything we have ever witnessed, finds its strength in the basic uh, makeup of the people who will buy the product itself. Unlike the video cassette market that tends to appeal to a very, very narrow segment of the population, principally young, upscale males, the RCA CED video disc has broad appeal. In fact, our research shows that the profile of the video disc buyer is almost identical to the average television viewer. Now, this comes as no surprise because the television viewer has one basic objective, and that is to be entertained. And that is precisely what the video disc system does best, provides superb entertainment. It does not intimidate 
nor challenge the mechanical or the electronic aptitude of the viewer. To operate the unit, one simply moves one lever to the load position, inserts the caddy, moves it to the play, and then the enjoyment begins. So simple that it really is almost magic. Now the fact that the profile of the RCA video disc customer is so close to that of the television viewer is very significant. First, it means that we are not dealing with a specialty market. And because of this, the product will be just as much at home in a traditional TV store as it will be on the floor of a video specialist. This similarity between the television viewer and the video disc prospect is significant for an even more important reason. With total television purchases averaging better than 15 million units a year, it is clear that the public wants and will pay for good television entertainment. And the video disc will give them that entertainment, but with one very exclusive feature, and that is flexibility. They can view what they want, when they want it, as often as they want it. The video disc truly has the potential of appealing to a segment of the population that is second only to television itself. And the market for the disc itself has greater potential. And when you take the combination of the two, the player and the disc in the after sale market, it can add up to an exciting new business that will, if successfully launched, lead the video industry to record sales and profit opportunities in the decade to come. We feel confident that RCA's introduction plans, which are being presented to you tonight, contain all the elements to make this a successful launch. And our confidence stems from the fact that launching new major products is not unfamiliar to RCA. We are well aware of the level of commitment that is required for such an undertaking. We recognize that you cannot treat an introduction of this magnitude like a test market and expect the public to become totally aware of a new concept with minimal national advertising and then supported only by a small group of dealers. Now when we talk about commitment, we are talking about generating a half million player prospects in the first year. And to achieve this very ambitious goal, we have established a number of critical objectives. One, to develop a nationwide network of a minimum of 5,000 video disc dealers. Two, to provide at launch day to every dealer a working inventory of players and discs. Three, adequately train the dealer network to effectively sell this new product. Four, make available in-store material that instantly tells the consumer that the video disc is here. Five, establish at launch day a highly trained nationwide network of service people to provide assurance to you and your customers that the product does have product support. Six, develop and implement an advertising campaign capable of successfully launching a marketing program of this magnitude. Now to introduce and successfully sell any new concept is a formidable task. But I promise those of you who accept this challenge that you will have the all-out support of RCA. Support that will provide you with the most extensive advertising, display, and sales promotional campaign in our history. Now you remember earlier, I said that we had done extensive market research. Now we have learned a great deal from this research, specifically that we have to sell more than just hardware, that we have to sell more than just an extensive software availability. We have to sell the totality of the video disc experience. We have to create an, an emotional environment and excitement that the experience of owning the RCA video disc is like nothing that a consumer has ever experienced before. 
Now to create this feeling, we have developed an entire campaign that demonstrates how inserting an RCA video disc into the player unlocks the door to a whole new world. The magic of the RCA video disc experience. Now the background of this campaign will be our TV commercials. Now let's see just how well in 60 seconds that we have created this experience. Introducing the RCA Video Disc Player, the extraordinary machine that plays extraordinary records you watch on your TV. Get records that let you dance with Olivia Newton-John, ride with Newman and Redford. With RCA Video Discs, you see the stars you want the way you want. Bring the magic home on RCA! With the RCA Video Disc Player and Video Discs, you can see magic on your own TV. With RCA Video Discs, you see the entertainment you really want, when you want, the way you want, uninterrupted. With a picture so clean, so bright, so sharp, you have to see it to believe it. The RCA Video Disc Player costs less than $500, so see your RCA Video Disc dealer for a demonstration and bring the magic home. I'm bringing home Rocky. Bring the magic home on RCA. Well, that outstanding commercial, plus two variations and a 30-second version, will appear in a saturation schedule utilizing all three networks. These commercials will be seen on high-rated shows, including four one-minute spots on what well might be the biggest miniseries of 1981. It's called Masada, an eight-hour spectacular that is expected to outdraw the best of the miniseries shown to date. We think that the total impact will be tremendous. Now to back up the network advertising and to appeal to the customer who is looking for more information before they buy, here are two very intrusive magazine ads. The first ad introduces the basic idea of the video disc. Its headline says, get ready, the next movie you see may be on a record. Introducing RCA video disc system. The second is a two-page spread and it headlines suddenly there's a lot more excitement on TV than this week's TV schedule. Introducing the remarkable RCA video disc system. Well a copy in each ad asks and answers basic questions like what is RCA video disc? What can I see? And how is it different from TV? How does it work? And what does it cost? Well, our media plans begin almost a week before the actual consumer announcement date. During that week, these three pre-introduction teaser ads will be run in the TV listings or the entertainment sections of your newspaper. Each ad marks the countdown until the introduction and delivers a key point. And to attract consumers into your store, for that introduction, we have created National Demonstration Week. And our objective, through a combination of advertising, public relations, in-store happenings, and most important, the visibility of RCA representatives, yours and ours, is to produce an avalanche of excitement and traffic for our new revolutionary product. Now, on the introductory day, your distributor will place this 1800 line introductory announcement newspaper ad, complete with a dealer listing. The headline and the copy focuses on entertainment, the ease of use, and software, and it closes with an invitation to the customer to visit their dealers during RCA Video Disc National Demonstration Week. All in all, this schedule will reach 95 of our prospects more than six times during the introductory period. We believe that everything we're doing is geared to supporting dealer sales of players and software on a steady basis, every day, every week. And then to put the retailer 
in the best environment for getting his prospects caught up in this new viewing experience of the disc, we must see that every dealer's floor takes on a dramatic new look. And we're going to do it with this specially tailored display and point of sale program. The focal point of our display is this outstanding merchandiser. And the theme on the header says it all, bring the magic home. And that theme will pervade all of our communications. And it calls attention to what we should be selling with the video disc. A very, very exciting entertainment experience. Then to help the salesman do this, we are providing as part of every in-store uh, display package this very compelling demonstration disc. Well, the success of the first few days at retail and the key to building momentum beyond depends on the execution of our total marketing plan and what we can do to lead up to the launch. And we're going to do it by following a checklist of those items that must be locked in place. To follow it, we will be providing this action planner. And it breaks out what is required into three specific areas. Pre-dealer dealer intro, the dealer introduction, and then the consumer launch. In just a few minutes, we're going to turn this program back to your distributor who will spell out in more detail the specifics of the total marketing plans for your area. Now these plans will fine-tune RCA's overall marketing program. And just as tonight's telecast has made history, you will be a part of history as you participate in the Select Division video disc introduction. It will truly be an event that we will all be very proud to be a part of. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Souter. Well, there you have it. Tonight you have been part of the birth of a new industry from concept to reality. The technology, the software, the marketing programs, the video disc player, all there, all ready to go. It's obvious from what we have seen here tonight that RCA is not just talking about one year, it is talking about many years. RCA expects that the Select Division video disc player could well become the dominant product in the home entertainment industry. One final plug on my behalf, in about 10 hours I'll be down the hall in another studio doing the Today program. You're invited to join us for that as well. We're not yet on Select Division because they've not made a video disc large enough to contain Willard Scott. Someday we will. <laughs> on behalf of RCA, I'd like to thank you all for coming tonight. This is Tom Brokaw, live from Studio 8H. Good night. This year, our year, our personal, just make for us.